terms of technology, we use the internet for research. We use platforms like YouTube, IMDb and Movie Box Mojo to research about film openings so that we could decide on a category of films in which we could explore further and the preferred genre we would choose. The film opening we watched were Taken 1 and 2, Enemy of the State, Mr. Robot and Expendables. YouTube helped us decide on our genre and that turned out to be action thriller. Watching videos on YouTube gave us an idea of the film genre itself, but also showed us film openings establishing dominance and power for the characters via camera angles, such as low angles, shots to emphasize, emphasize character power over another. This technology also allowed us to gain some important notes on costume, design and characterization for characters. In our planning stage, we used technologies like iMac as it, helped, as it allowed us to research and learn the typical conventions in an action-based thriller such as Taken 1, 2, 3, Enemy of the State, Expendables, Mr. Robot. And this guided me to follow these film conventions which then led to make my own work look more genuine to the genre. We also looked at what were the typical sounds, lighting, editing techniques and camera shots in a action thriller movie opening scenes. I learned I could use specific resources on the internet which will give me a simple and clear guidance for the overall process on the internet. I used certain websites such as IMDB and Movie Mojo as I was able to look at past thriller films. This allows me this allowed me to learn their conventions and the for and the form of the construction. However, technology certainly taught me more than construction of my product than any other stage. This was first evident in my preliminary task in which I used new technology of mobile phones to film my preliminary task. However, I soon learned that technology of an iPhone without a tripod would make, would make my work look amateur and shaky, therefore not producing a clear image. Therefore, in my final product, I made sure I used a tripod to reduce unsteady footage in my product, and I ensured that we would use high-quality camera. This is because it improved the quality of the image by recording shots in higher resolution. However, even though we was the right, even though we used the right equipment, we learned that not everything went our way. A primary example of this was the zoom function, as we found results in the jolted the image as it in a jolted in the image which didn't follow um, which didn't follow the other clips we filmed so i had to show use of transformation on final cut to zoom on certain scenes in the movie clip we also found the autofocus did not always produce the most successful footage this is because it would refocus if something moved out of focus and and in a result of this it blurred the image occasionally even though this was a minor technical fault, it was still visible, which then led me refilming the scene over again. Although some understandable technical faults occurred with the camera, I was able to learn how the technology of a HD camera and a tribal have evolved and how much better the quality it gave for our final product. Finally, I also used fairly new software such as Final Cut Pro. This software was available on the IMAX. This assisted me to make my footage look professional by editing the footage to a higher quality, which made my opening scene look genuine. I found the software evidently more professional than compared to a simplistic trans transition product in Windows Movie in in Movies Window Maker that I used at the start of filming. At the stage of editing, I was able to produce a product conforming to the conventions of the action thriller genre.